What's up, everybody? It's your boy. It's Elliot. Welcome back to another Take Care of Esports with Elrod. We got a lot to talk about. So go ahead, sit back, crack open a can of whatever you're sipping on, and enjoy the video. The first thing I want to talk about is some hopium for Halo. Halo Infinite Season 2 is right around the corner, coming out May 3rd. With all the leaks of new maps and armor cores coming out and cross-core customization, there's a lot of hope for Halo Infinite fans out there, and just Halo fans in general. You gotta love the data miners in Halo because they have been keeping the community alive with content that's going to be coming out later on. And here are some unreleased bundles that we have coming out. We have the Mindful Means bundle, which I thought was out with the Tenrai event. Maybe we'll see that again with the sixth and final return of the Tenrai event. The CQC, the JFO, the Firefall, the armor set. I think that's already been in the, in the item shop. If it hasn't, forgive me. But when it does, I'll be scooping that one up. Midnight Gold, which is a Warthog and looks like Razorback coating. We got True Blue, Recon Gear, and then Kirkery, which that last one looks tough. I cannot wait for that bundle to come into the item shop. And speaking of data miners, they have been mining some future content that's going to be coming with Season 2. And they're giving us a sneak peek of some of these helmets, and let's just go over one by one. And starting out with this teal one, I think it's a dope little armor set. For some reason, it's giving me Gundam vibes, but not like big Gundams, but like when the Gundams were like small chibi Gundams, and they had like the animated series. I mean, let me know if you remember this, but that's just what this reminds me of. Then we have the War Master helmet, which, I mean, come on. This is just dope in every way with the, the eyeballs kind of in the visor itself and the nose looking like a skull. This is the type of content I want to see coming to Halo. And then lastly, we got this, like, recon-esque looking like helmet. And I like it. It's clean. Not a lot going on with it. Just nice and clean. Cool looking helmet. And I cannot wait for more stuff like this to come out in Season 2. I mean, look, this is even a, a glimpse of what that War Master helmet is going to look like. And if you look at these shoulder pads, they're very like Space Marine-esque from Warhammer 40k. I'm loving it. Then we have this guy who looks like a freaking camo stormtrooper from, from Star Wars, but it looked like he ran into the Predator and put his pre the Predator, aka like an elite skull, on the shoulder pad. I think this is great. I mean, truly, this looks like a speed racer stormtrooper from like Star Wars Episode 5, that helmet. At least that's what the vibes that I get from it. And then the elite skull on the shoulder pad. I mean, that is just tough. And here on this image, we can see it's kind of blurry, but it's those two Spartans that we saw in the concept art for season two that are coming either up or down. I can't really tell. It's just a, an image. But you could see that one of them is resting over the shoulder of the other. And I wonder if this is going to go into the cinematic backstory of, of the multiplayer side of things. Because we know that that's going to be coming with season two. So for my Halo fans, go ahead, break out Halo Infinite. Maybe play a few games a week just so you don't get too rusty. That way when Season 2 comes out, we can come on and come strong. And things that aren't going strong right now in the gaming scene is in the Call of Duty Vanguard scene. But in the multiplayer side of things, it still seems that cheaters are running rampant. And unfortunately, you got this guy Perplex, Pplex. I think it's supposed to be like Paul X, but, but not Perplex. It's his own thing. This is the number two guy on all the leaderboards on the ranked Call of Duty system, and he has been caught red-handed cheating using walls I picked up a fucking pistol damn who shot that kid cutie Yo, I credit damn why does my game always crash and shit Obviously, cheating is just not cool on any stretch of the imagination. But the people I feel bad for are people like Doug who have gone out and said, I'm going to work my way up to number one. I'm going to be number one on the rank charts in Call of Duty Vanguard. And they're having to work through these cheaters who are using walls, who are using aimbots, who are just going through the whole kit and caboodle so that they don't have to work as hard or be as good to, to beat some of these other guys. All right, guys, we just finished our uh, nice little 11 hour session of ranked for the day. Definitely going to crack that top 10 tomorrow. And if you guys don't know, the guy that's number two in the ladder just got caught blatantly with hacks. It's on my timeline if you guys want to go check it out. Um, and I just hope that this stigma about all these young kids that are like next up that could grind into the late hours of night and work so hard. I hope that that gets shattered because I'm out here running five miles a day. I'm out here watching Call of Duty when I'm going to sleep, when I'm waking up. I'm out here playing for 12 hours, seven days a week. Even on off days, I'm playing minimum eight hours. Like, if you want to know something about the grind, like, I know a little bit about a grind, man. I've been working my ass off my whole life to have what I have. And I hope that these young kids can really understand that if you're cheating, like, to get number two on that ladder, you got to be putting in a lot of time. Like, I'm putting in a lot of time right now. And, like, for someone to be number two and to get that far and to find out he's cheating, it's like, dude, I hope you understand that in life, if you take any shortcuts, you're going to get cut. I think Doug, he's somebody who's outspoken. He's a personality. 
He may not be your favorite cup of tea, but he brings something to the table that is just undeniable. Something that you can't buy with freaking cheats. So I have to ask Activision, why isn't Ricochet implemented in the multiplayer side of things? You kind of advertised it to go alongside with Call of Duty Vanguard. I thought it was going to release a, you know, Warzone, and then a couple weeks into this, the multiplayer would get Ricochet. Now it's been a few months, we're actually coming into like the halfway point of the COD League, and they don't have a Ricochet system. They don't have an anti-cheat system. To me, this is, that's just crazy. And another crazy news, and I don't even want to give this guy any light, but we have to talk about it, is Bad Boy Gaming. I don't know if you've seen this guy, but he is known just to go out and accusation over anybody and everybody who's a big name streamer. Because if you're a big name streamer, you're probably cheating. That's the logic of these boneheaded people. He's going out there and accused Swag, Zlaner, Fasantina. He's the whole kit and caboodle. If you're a high-end streamer, Bad Boy Gaming probably has a video out on you and probably on how you're cheating. Bad, Bad Boy Gaming has to be careful now because he's tiptoeing on this ledge of being kind of a stalker in Call of Duty. And I mean, is this Call of Duty's first actual stalker? Maybe. You have this guy who is in the same vicinity as somebody else who takes out his phone, takes a picture of it, and instead of going up and talking to the person, tweeting at them, saying, yo, this is the the sight, the face of somebody who's locked eyes for the first time with bad boy gaming. What weird behavior is this? I mean, utterly, what kind of freakazoid are you? At the end of the day, everyone's going to make content somehow and try to make a living, but I think there's just a better, more holistic way than going out and trying to slander people's name. And now, you're going out there stalking them. I don't want to say I look forward to, but I would not be surprised if legal allegations were pressed against bad boy gaming. And I truthfully hope, if they do, if they do, they use that kid, man, dude, I don't know what he classifies as, as an example. And kind of give them the same treatment as the buddy who we were talking about earlier in this video who has shown cheating. Give them the ultra ban. And I don't want to end this video on a low note like that, so I want to end it on a high note. I want to talk about one of my favorite freaking IPs, favorite video games of all time, is the Kingdom Hearts series. And Kingdom Hearts 4 is finally coming out, and look at this trailer. I cannot wait for this game to come out. And for me, I have big news. I'm actually gonna upgrade and get myself a PC. I'm gonna get the NZXT, the starter PC plus, the 1299 one. It basically has everything I need. The only thing that I personally don't like within it is that it runs the ITEL 5, the i5 processor. I would have liked to have like an i6 or an i7, but for the price, this is the most bang for your buck. That is for sure. So I am super excited and hopefully within the next few weeks and months you guys are really going to start to see my, my videos one get better, get more views. That's because you guys are going to make sure that you like the video, you're going to hit that subscribe button, you're going to turn a little notification bell on so you never miss one of my videos because I'm uploading Monday through Friday and on the weekends I might start doing some more consistent shorts or some other things but check out the, my description down below so you can follow all my social media so you never miss anything that I post because my goal is to keep you guys filled up with everything that's going on in the gaming scene. And so until next time. Peace.